what is up youtube um it's a different day so right now it's saturday a lot of the clips that you're going to be seeing in this video are recorded from last night at about like 1 30 a.m to like 2 a.m so it was really late but um i didn't want to not make the video but let's just say rt really blew my mental yesterday so i had to take a big mental reset and we're good now so it's all good um <clears throat> but anyway we are fighting arcadia 3 and um some a lot of information today about damage calculations and i think we'll make a future video about how to really set up your damage calculator and how to use it properly and, and whatnot um but yeah if you guys do enjoy this video please drop a like and comment below for the algorithm it really helps me a lot and subscribe if you haven't already and please please pray that twitch accepts our partner for, um, application please anyway without further ado let's jump straight into the first attack all right, so for our first attack of today, we will be hitting Joel Tomo and uh, it's Rand, Karina, and Emma Rowana. Uh, I'm not going to get the info just because it's I'm, I'm too lazy. Uh, it's already pretty late. Um, max speed RNG, this Rand's going to be about 303. So I'm going to be going at 298 aim at here. And we'll be running a 10 speed imprint, so it will be uh, plus 10, which is 308 speed, obviously. Uh, and our key stays just on like a full nuke build, so I'll put the damage calculation on screen now. And anytime you're doing a damage calculation, especially when you're hitting a unit that's really high defense, so obviously in this case Karina, a lot of Karina is going to be about around like 26, 27, 28, 2900 defense maybe. So we're just going to exaggerate and we're just going to make it 3000 defense. And because the Karina is only 17.8k HP, we know that for sure the S3, S2 combo is going to kill without a doubt, right? Um, and even if she does, um, yeah, no, she's died. She's dead. She's going to die. Uh, Watcher's just going to be here to clean up anything that's still alive. I don't think anything will really be alive, uh, but he's mainly just here for a speed imprint, so nothing to worry about there. Um, for the bottom team, we have MLU Fiend, ML Landy, and Sharoon. Obviously, if you see these two units on defense, who do you think of? I'm okay, right? Obviously. So we're going to uh, run uh, Mitigation for Airwell. Release imprint, obviously. Uh, anytime you are running ML Ken with Mitigation, whether it's going to be Airwell or uh, in the future patch, it's, it might be Blue Crowd with Escort, right, from the Awakened Potential buff, um, or changes, I guess. Uh, make sure you run Adamant plus Release imprint for your ML Ken, so that he has extra survivability. Uh, ML Ken's just going to be in a full nuke build. Uh, best in slot's going to be on Golden Rose. I do not have Golden Rose, so we're just going to be rocking with Draco Plate. And uh, luckily, we did get this boot pretty recently, so I'm really happy about that. I uh, got a mod gem this out as well, but you know, it's all good. Um, Destina is going to be here, uh, obviously, team imprint, like mentioned, because we want to just give extra survivability for the ML Ken. Guardian Nice Crystal is going to be the way to go, and the push EE is going to be the best in slot here as well. Um, and basically, we don't really need to do anything, we just basically let ML Ken go to town and just kill everything off, and should be fine. So, let us go right at All right, so 94%, and yeah, we're just going to push here. And we're just going to push the Kisei. And yeah, let's just uh, rip that S3 into this Karina. Attack buff, crit damage buff. Like, she's she's going to get nuked, man. Uh, yeah, she just gets one shot. Okay, cool. And then we S2, and everything's dead. Beautiful. Okay, looking at the next one. What do we got? What do we got? Uh, Sharoon's going to press S3. And everything should be fine. I mean, if she crits, that'd be even nicer here. She didn't crit. Uh, so in this instance, I'm probably just going to press S3. Because we're not really in any danger, right? So just press S3. Just cleanse out the Venoms. Just make sure there's no injury. Like, we don't want to deal with any of that stuff, right? And... Uh, we could S3 into Candy, but we don't want to give her a counter chance for no reason. So let's just go into the Sharoon here. Uh, we want the Amalandi, we want the, the AEP to hit us, so there's there's no need to... You know, if she Elberses, she Elberses, right? But we, we, we want to avoid that if possible. So Amalcan's basically just almost going to one-shot. Uh, if that was Golden Rose, she's basically dead. Uh, yeah, every, both are almost dead. He does Salvo to heal up, which I don't, it's not going to save him. Shroon's obviously stunned, MLK's gonna press S3, and these two other units should be dead. And yep, those two units are dead. We're going to push MLK. And he's gonna come zooming down the CR. Not really. S1, Shroon's gonna take a turn. We're gonna Solburn S1 to guarantee crit, and she is dead. Beautiful! Nice and clean. Uh, we're basically just speedrunning this one, so let's uh, hop over into the second attack of today. 
Okay, so for the next attack, we're hitting uh, Cryptic 1230, and um, it's going to be Candy, Shu, and uh, Ocean Breeze Luluka. So obviously, we see Candy, we're going to go Ammo Ken, and Shu hits Ammo Ken as well, so we're just going to run Ammo Ken. Um, now, we're going to be running Destina on Open Imprint, uh, same as the last attack as you guys saw previously, and uh, she's obviously good because she doesn't get targeted by uh, Blue Shu. Uh, we have ARS here in the back because his own passive um, is going to be able to apply to him if he takes like single target damage from the shoe. Uh, he does get that barrier. Now, like I mentioned, right, uh, if you're ever running mitigation with your MLK, always make sure that you're on release imprint just because like you just want to keep him alive, right? It's not so much about the tank, uh, especially when you have a reviver like Destina as well. Uh, MLK, nothing was changed from the last attack. So as you guys can see, just basically run this and you should be fine. Um, bottom team is going to be G uh, Zeo, Mort, and Aiden. Uh, now the Zeo is way faster than everything else. So whenever we know Zeo goes first, uh, we're going to run GP. Um, in an ideal world, if I wasn't this broke, um, I would just change this over to POV, but I don't really think this is going to matter. Um, the fight's just going to be over. So uh, basically GP just here to tank. Um, we're going to have Milius S3 into the Morts. Now I'm going to put the damage calculation on screen now. And um, it's about like it's 22k HP as you can see everything that's highlighted. Um, they're gonna die, right? Just make sure, make sure, make sure, make sure that you guys, if you're running Wind Rider, make sure when it says caster defeated enemy, as you guys can see, make sure that is unchecked, right? If you do a damage calculation and that is checked, your calculation is gonna be completely off, right? So make sure that's unchecked and we can see that we for sure kill more because thanks to this helmet that we guys saw from the last video, uh, we're for sure gonna kill. And uh, we have our Zahawk here on Oathkey, um, just because I don't want to put symbol, that's going to cost money. And the Aiden's on, like, it's not POV or anything super crazy, so it's like 10k HP, standard stuff. So uh, we're going to get attack buff, and this just kills. I'm not even going to damage calculate this, because I know this for sure kills. Um, but anytime, anytime you're fighting Zeo and you want to bait with GP, just make sure your unit of general progress and your other two units are at least 20 speed apart, right? As long as you're 20 speed apart, you're good to go. So... Uh, Zeo tanks, uh, Zeo goes into GP, GP pushes everything else, Milius kills Mort, attack buff, S3 into Aiden, 3v1, GG. And yeah, should be pretty clean, so let us go right ahead. Alright, so I'm actually just going to... Um... Yeah, I'm just gonna ask my issue. We know it is snow crystal, but our uh our ammo can is just gonna nuke into the to the shoe, so it doesn't really matter. And I'm actually just gonna put death buff up here, just so that we have a bit more survivability. I don't really want to S2 just because like Hey, you never know. It might not proc, right? Mokan's gonna tank the hit. He's gonna go into the candy. And candy's like almost dead. And you can see the passive from the ARAS. You can see the barrier there. So make sure you put ARAS in the back anytime you're baiting for Shu. Mokan's gonna take the next turn. We S3. And they should be dead. Okay, well, he's countering, so it's whatever. But um, in this spot, uh, we're just gonna S1 Shu because we have ARAS coming up next. So. Aras, we're just gonna soul burn into the shoe, and Emil Ken should kill. There we go. And yeah, she does her little cleansing stuff, but we're not gonna care because hopefully she doesn't land on Destina, and if she does, then it is what it is. But I don't think she will, and looks like she doesn't. Beautiful. All right, so we're just gonna S one. She'll definitely take a turn because our other two units are giga slow, but we're just gonna S two here with the Emil Ken. We don't land, obviously. And we're going to S1, hopefully crit. Okay, not enough damage though. So in this spot, we're just going to push down the Emelken. This is going to uh, push the Ocean Breeze, and she's going to S1 and then do her whole ability thing. But in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't really matter, right? Like, you're already out of the fire. Like, and by what I mean by out of the fire means, like, she's, she's basically just going to die. And as you can see, boom, dead. Uh, I know a lot of you guys are saying, oh my god, I'm so sick of Dark Corvus, I'm so sick of Dark Corvus. Well, here you go. Alright, no Dark Corvus, okay? Uh, Zeo S3 is going to go into the General Purgus here and pushes everything up, as we can see. And it's Abyssal Crown, actually. Um, that wasn't in the report, but obviously if it doesn't stun, then they'll never know, right? So we're just going to S3 into the Mortalix, or Mort. And he 
he's dead. Oh, dead. And then uh, I'm actually just going to press S2 on the GP just to cleanse him. And we're going to S3 into the Aiden. And yeah, he's dead. We're going to S3 with the GP because, I mean, if we get a stun, that will be nice. No stun. Uh, we're just going to S1 with the Milius, and he's dead. So much for uh, his passive, I guess. Anyway, nice and clean. Let us go over to the third attack. Okay, so for our last attack of today, we'll be hitting Zero Zaki. Uh, it's going to be Ilanav, Aiden, and Arabi. So I'm going to be running Alons here at 274 speed, just on literally on Rag's gear, so don't judge. Uh, 274 speed. And we have Sez Bomb here on Windrider. Uh, so I'll put the damage calculation on screen now. So again, same thing. Make sure Caster Defeated Enemy is unchecked. Uh, if you don't, your damage calculations are going to be completely skewed off. And uh, we see the Solver Nest 3 is going to kill the Illinois for sure. As we've highlighted the defense, we are overshooting it by a lot. And obviously the explosion damage, it will not exactly kill the Aiden. But because our next unit following is going to be a Laika, um, Soulburn S2 to target the Aravi, and then S3 is going to basically kill on a miss on the Aiden, and then also just one shot the Aravi since the splash is going to do a significant amount like 8k. So, this is for sure going to kill, and yeah, basically their whole team just dies. Um, on the bottom, it's going to be this ran's about I think 313, uh, like max speed RNG. Um, so I'm going to be going with uh, 308 Peira uh, on Oath Key because the Kiran is on double edged decrescent, uh, and obviously, maximum that gives you 20 evasion. And um, same thing with C Pavel because we're running a crit payer, we're going to be S2 into S1 onto the Kiran since uh, you only need 85 crit because of uh, elemental advantage. Um, this C Pavel is just going to be on symbol to make sure that we do hit and we proc the uh, because we just we just kill, right? Um, and they just die, yeah. Basically, I, I could two man this, but I, I'm not allowed to, so I'm just gonna crit Para, S2, S1 in the K runs, pull C Pavel, kill one shots everything. And then Emma Rowan is not a unit, right? So then I just have Watcher Shuri just one tapper if she's still alive for or if anything's alive. And yeah, it's pretty much yeah, super clean. So let us uh let's let's pull this says bottom off here. Let's go. Alright, let us push the says. Oh my god, I almost misclicked. Holy shit. <gasps> almost misclicked. Alright, Soulburn S2. Or sorry, Soulburn S3. This is for sure going to kill the Lenav. 43k. Boom. Soulburn S2. Into S3. And A Ravi is about to be dead. GG. <clears throat> Alright. That's dead. Now let's take a look at the next one. Uh, 93%. So hopefully he doesn't counter me with Kron and then blind my whole team. All right, nothing. Pull the C Pavel, boom, and then boom. See, um, is there was there a lose con here? I mean, yeah, technically, if you S two Pavel and then Kron counters and then he blinds your whole team and then you never hit. Um. But it didn't happen, so it's all good. <laughs> all right, nice and clean. Super quick. Very, very clean. Love cleaving, so there we go. By the way, shout out to uh, Novak and CM for the do donations. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um, but I, I did trap it, so it's not actually donation. I'm joking. Uh, but yeah, I mean, thank you so much for supporting the videos and the streams. The streams have been going crazy. Um, as a lot of you guys know, I have submitted my partner application. So hopefully we do get approved and get partnered on Twitch. Hopefully. Um, but yeah, I'm so sorry that this video is a little bit rushed. Um, I just, I literally mental boomed. It's 1.30. I need to sleep. Uh, so I just want to get this out kind of ASAP. Um, it's probably going to get released tomorrow because like rendering is going to take at least half an hour and whatever. So I, yeah, so forget it, right? This is not going to be posted today. So Saturday, uh, November 4th for sure. Um, but yeah, please drop a like, comment below. Um, the comment really helps me with the algorithm, like seriously. So if you do get make it to this part of the video, please drop a comment. And subscribe if you haven't already. And I uh, hope to see you guys on the next video. Um, let me know if you guys want me to make like a damage calculation guide. I, I think some people have mentioned it, but um, I don't know if it deserves its own video. But if you guys think it does, then please do let me know. And as always, thank you so much for the support. And yeah, just have a good weekend, guys. I love you guys. And... Maybe there'll be some secret streams that pop up. Who knows? Okay. Bye.